class. Attention. Center. Face. Take. Seats. Ladies and gentlemen, today the West Point class of 1974 will present commemorative second lieutenant bars to members of the class of 2024 as they take their place in the long gray line. The class of 1974, which just celebrated its 50th class reunion here at West Point, has developed a special relationship with the class of 2024. Since June 2019, members of the class of 1974 have engaged with and supported the class of 2024 every step of the way from our day to graduation. The cadet phase of bonding and mentorship between these two classes culminates today when the class of 1974 presents a set of second lieutenant bars engraved with 74-24. The representatives of the class of 1974 presenting the bars have distinguished records of service to the armed forces and the nation during times of war and in peace. I will introduce them to you now. Seated on the north side of the dais, to your left, Lieutenant General Gary J. Anderson, U.S. Army Retired, and Colonel Gregory C. Gardner, U.S. Army Retired. Seated on the south side of the dais, to your right, Mr. Stephen D. Marino, and Colonel John R. Martin, U.S. Army Retired. Gentlemen, we welcome you back to attend this special graduation ceremony. It is a pleasure and honor to have you here with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for the class of 1974 and their outstanding dedication to the class of 2024. Ladies and gentlemen and members of the class of 2024, just as the long gray line represents the connection of all graduates throughout the Academy's storied history, today's faculty processional recognizes the dedication and academic excellence of all United States Military Academy faculty, both past and present. Please welcome representatives of the faculty of the United States Military Academy.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the platform our distinguished guests, United States Congressman from the state of Arkansas and West Point Board of Visitors Chairman, the Honorable Steve Womack. United States Representative for New York's 18th Congressional District and West Point Class of 2004, the Honorable Pat Ryan. The Commandant of Cadets, Major General Lori L. Robinson the Dean of the Academic Board, Brigadier General Shane R. Reeves, the Deputy Athletics Director, Military, Colonel Gretchen Nunez, the Senior Advisor for Character Integration, Dr. Jeff Peterson, the West Point Chief of Staff, Colonel Khan Deep, the United States Corps of Cadets Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Robert T. Craven, members of the Academic Board and other Senior Academy leaders.
Staff, attention. Class, attention. attention. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the entrance of the official party. Class. Present arms. Say it. Present arms. Staff. Present arms. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 25th Secretary of the Army, the Honorable Christine E. Wormuth. The 41st Chief of Staff of the Army, General Randy A. George. and the 61st Superintendent of the United States Military Academy, Lieutenant General Stephen W. Gilland. the 46th President of the United States of America, Joe Biden.
staff. Order. Arms. Class. Order. Arms. On. Cover. Stay it. Order. Arms. Stay it. On. Cover. Staff. On. Cover. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the invocation by Father Matt Palakowski. Almighty God, we live in interesting times, which we seem to have seen before. 100 days ago, General Martin Dempsey noted uncanny similarities between 1974 and 2024. Tensions within our society, threats from without, and so prophetically declared that this class's motto, like none before, reverently dictates what we want them to be, what they believe they can be, what the world needs them to be. So while this COVID class came of age, needing three R days to report to the cadet in the red sash, taking classes on teams, kidnapping goats and screaming in the night, beyond the walls of West Point, totalitarians invade their neighbors, endanger peace, and spew hatred here at home. And yet, God, you are the light of the world and you make all things new. In this present darkness, we see glimmers of light, but none so bright as this class you've collected for a time such as this when bold and brazen strength of character is needed to lead and inspire our army and our nation. And so, almighty God, this morning our prayers go up like none before that you grace these ceremonies of our class of 2024. Amen. Staff, re cover. Please be seated. Class, take seats. Staff, dismissed. Please welcome the 61st Superintendent of the United States Military Academy, Lieutenant General Stephen W. Gilland. Mr. President, Congressman Womack, Congressman Ryan, Secretary Wormuth, General George, distinguished guests and alumni, teammates, family and friends, good morning, and welcome to West Point and your United States Military Academy. On, <laughs> on behalf of the entire West Point team, we are honored to have you here today to celebrate these 1,036 outstanding cadets of the class of 2024 as they graduate and commission as the newest officers and leaders of character in our Army. First, a very special welcome to the parents, grandparents, siblings, families, and friends of our graduates who are here today. A very special welcome and thank you for the love, support, and encouragement you have given them along their journey at the United States Military Academy. I'd like to acknowledge the members of the 50-year affiliate class for our graduating class, the Pride of the Corps, class of 1974. Thank you all for gripping hands with these new leaders over the past four years. 
We are grateful for your support and mentorship to them and for showing them the connectivity and the strength of the Long Gray Line. Developing leaders takes a village, and we thank you all for being part of our village these past four years. Class of 2024, like none before, congratulations and well done. Today, your cadet experience may come to an end, but it really marks a milestone in your personal journey as you assume the mantle of leadership as officers in the United States Army. We know you all are looking forward to what's ahead, moving, living on your own. Some of you are getting married in the next few days. However, I would ask you to take a moment to reflect on these last four years here. Think about all the opportunities and experiences you've had and the challenges you've overcome on the road to becoming a leader of character. Think about all the hard work, maybe some blood, a lot of sweat, as well as grit, toughness, determination, and a continual pursuit of excellence. Think about the friends you've made and the relationships developed, the camaraderie with teammates, the tax instructors, coaches, maybe some old grads who encouraged and mentored you, and the families and the family members and the friends who supported you. Take a moment to appreciate, thank all the people who have helped you get here, to be grateful for those experiences and opportunities that have helped shape you these past four years. As you pursue this journey as a leader of character, remember that this is about the responsibility of service, both to country and to others. It is about challenging yourself and others to be better. Better teammates, better officers, better leaders of character. It starts with you each and every day. It's also about the responsibility of leadership as Army officers. Your responsibility to support and defend the Constitution. Your responsibility to be standard bearers, to lead by example, to embody what right looks like. And most importantly, your responsibility, your obligation to the citizens of our nation and to our soldiers, America's sons and daughters, your obligation to give them your very best leadership every day. Also take a moment to reflect and understand what it means to be a graduate of the United States Military Academy. People expect more from you. Our nation expects more from you. You represent this institution and the United States Army. You will grip hands with generations past and present, leaders of character who have answered their nation's call to serve, guided by the Army values and the ideals, duty, honor, country. Just as they, as they have inspired in you, you will now, in turn, inspire future generations. Class of 2024, you are ready to face the challenges that await you, I have no doubt. Prepared to live honorably, lead honorably, and demonstrate excellence in all you do. Con congratulations and Godspeed to all of you. Mr. President, Madam Secretary, General George, on behalf of all your teammates at the United States Military Academy, it's an honor to present this outstanding class to you this morning as our nation's newest leaders of character. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce this morning's commencement speaker, the 46th President of the United States, President Joe Biden, Thank you, thank you, thank you. General Galland, Secretary Wormuth, General George, members of Congress. And by the way, one of the members of Congress up here, I'm flying up with him. He's bragging about being from this district and maybe graduated from this academy. Stand up, Ryan. Stand up, Connor. Fellow graduate, right there.
faculty, staff, soldiers, officers, family, and friends, most of all, West Point class of 2024. In 1776, British forces had driven General Washington's army out of New York City. The British Navy dominated the coast of New England. If they could control the Hudson, they could cut colonies in half, divide and conquer. Classic strategy, but General Washington saw it coming. He knew there was a place on the Hudson where the river bent with a plateau overhead. The Americans placed artillery batteries along the river, stretched an iron chain across the water, and built a fort on a plain called West Point. West Point, George Washington said, George Washington said West Point was the key of America. He was right. The British never captured the Hudson. They failed to divide and conquer us. And a few years later, they surrendered at the Battle of Yorktown. You got it, man. Most powerful empire in the world defeated by an army of ordinary people driven by the sacred cause of freedom. And I might add, you're about to become full-time members of the most honorable and the most consequential fighting force in the history of the world. That's not hyperbole. Of the world. That's the truth. <laughs> Ever since, men and women of West Point have stayed true to this mission. And today, 1,036 graduates of the class of 2024 will join the long gray line that has never failed us and never, ever will. <laughs> Together, you survived the beast barracks and countless hours of PT. You completed rigorous academics at America's first toughest engineering school in the country. You met the highest standards of discipline. And of course, no one's perfect. Even Ulysses S. Grant and Dwight D. Eisenhower were written up from time to time. You know, I'm not kidding. Whenever cadets are at West Point, if that sounds familiar to you, maybe I can help you today. In keeping with a long-standing tradition, as Commander-in-Chief, I absolve all cadets on restriction for minor conduct offenses. <laughs> if you have any questions, the superintendent can clarify what minor means. <laughs> of course, your time here wasn't all difficult. The class did plenty of celebrating. Every time you beat Navy, yeah. now, now look, lots of West Point classes have some wins over Navy, but not every class over four years periods beats Navy 51 times. As they say in Delaware, you've done good. A few weeks ago, I was honored to present the Commander in Chief Trophy to the Black Knights at the White House. I told them I don't take sides, but my son Bo was a decorated major in the United States Army. He spent a year in Iraq, and he always made it clear who he expected the family to root for in the game in Philadelphia. <laughs> Parenthetically, I was appointed by my the fellow I ran against when I was 29 years old to the N Naval Academy. I was one of 10. I wanted to play football. And on the day I was supposed to go down for the interview, a classmate of mine who was also one of the 10 appointed to be chosen from, named Steve Dunning, came to pick me up. And I had found out two days earlier they had a quarterback named Roger Staubach and a halfback named Joe Bellino. I said, oh, I'm not going there. 
I went to Delaware. <laughs> Not a joke. <laughs> And by the way, that, that same fellow was a wonderful man. I, uh, in our last debate, when I was 29 years old, he, the first question he was asked at the debate was, do you have any regrets, Senator Boggs? He said, no. Then we came to the very end of the debate where I spoke, and then he was to conclude. He stood up and he said, you know, I was asked whether I had any regrets. I said, no, but I have one. Had Joe Biden gone to the Naval Academy when I appointed him, he'd still have seven months left on and wouldn't be able to run. <laughs> Cadets, as proud as your country is today, your family's even prouder. At our day, four years ago, because of the pandemic, they could not spend the day on post. It was a challenging way to begin the West Point experience. So I'm thrilled today so many of your loved ones get to see you here. To everyone who helped raise this remarkable young people, this is your day as well, because we know, as the English poet John Milton wrote, they also serve who we'll only stand and wait. Cadets, it's time for you to stand up now and thank your parents. Stand up. Turn and thank them. The class of 24, this is an extraordinary group. You include the Army's all-time home run leader, athletes who've swum laps around Manhattan Island, which I can never quite figure out, <laughs> and the son of an Iraqi interpreter of American forces, one of your class's two Rhodes Scholars. You hail from all 50 states and 12 countries. Some of you are third-generation West Pointers. Others are the first in your family to join the U.S. Armed Forces. At least one of you has a twin brother graduating from Annapolis this year. <laughs> I tell you what, I want to be at that family reunion. <laughs> Every time you show up to the Army-Navy game, I don't know how the hell you're going to do it, but at any rate. <laughs> Look, I wish I could praise every single cadet one by one because you deserve it. You make our entire nation proud, and that's not hyperbole. You do. As your Commander-in-Chief, let me say again, Congratulations, you've earned every bit of what you're going to get today. Look, the motto of this class, like none before, was an appropriate choice for your class, because you're graduating into a world, as a student of history, I can tell you, like none before. I've been a senator since I was 29 years old, never left government. And ladies and gentlemen, the world is not only changing rapidly, it's also the pace of change is accelerating. And the range of missions that our servicemen are carrying out are like none before as well. There's never been a time in history when we've asked our military to do so many different things in so many different places around the world all at the same time. Right now, American soldiers are supporting brave Ukrainians in their fight for freedom. Our soldiers are working around the clock keep munitions and equipment moving by land, sea, and air. They're training Ukrainians on how to use advanced weapon systems like HIMARS, Patriots, and Abram tanks. And they're sharing lessons in tactical combat casualty care with Ukrainian medics and surgeons. There are no American soldiers at war in Ukraine. I'm determined to keep it that way. But we are standing strong with Ukraine, and we will stand with them. We're standing against a man who I've known well for many years, a brutal tyrant. We may not, we, and we will not, we will not walk away. Putin was certain that NATO would fracture. I met with him right after being elected president before, right after I was sworn in, and we talked about this very issue. In the fall, 
he had tied that fall. He decided to uh, — look, I shouldn't get into this problem. It gets me a little excited. But Putin was certain that NATO would fracture. I said to him in Switzerland that you want the findalization of Ukraine. You're going to get the findalization. You're going to get the NATOization of Europe. He had a brazen vision, which we stepped up and stopped. Instead, today, the greatest defense alliance in the history of the world, stronger than ever, Finland and Sweden are our newest members, and they're tough. In the Middle East, while we conduct urgent diplomacy to secure immediate ceasefire that brings hostages home, our Army and Navy have deployed a temporary pier in, on the Mediterranean in record time to increase life-saving aid to the Palestinians. The U.S. Air Force has conducted food drops, delivering tens of thousands of meals to the people of Gaza. In the face of Iran's recent unprecedented attack on Israel, we brought partners together, including Arab nations, to repel the sustained assault. The man running the operation on the ground, General Eric Carrilla, head of U.S. Central Command, West Point, 88. General Carrilla did a superb job. I was in the Situation Room with our national security team. He was on the screen from the region. He knew the attack was coming, but we weren't sure precisely when it would begin. Then, at 6.34 p.m., the general said to me, Mr. President, we just got multiple ballistic missile launches from Iran toward Israel. Six minutes later, he said there are 30 missiles in the air. Four minutes after that, he said there are 75 missiles in the air. Then he said over 100 missiles in the air. Under incredible pressure, General Carrilla and the combined Joint Task Force performed exceptionally from sea, air, and bases nearby. Thanks to the 99 percent of the missiles and drones of Iran never reached their targets because of the quality of our forces. We swiftly ended. <laughs> we swiftly ended what could have been a devastating attack. And we de-escalated the conflict when it easily could have gone the other way. On the other side of the world, in the Indo-Pacific, we deepened our alliances. We've created new ones, like AUKUS, our new strategic partnership with Australia and the United Kingdom, or the trilateral cooperation we forged with Japan and the Republic of Korea that no one thought was possible. Two of our allies cooperated on strategic defense thanks to our leadership. We've begun the new trilateral partnership with Japan and the Philippines as well. We elevated the Quad together with Japan, India, and Australia to advance free, open, secure, and prosperous Indo-Pacific. We're standing up for peace and stability across the Taiwan Straits. And we depended on our strategic partnership with Vietnam. I wonder if the classes of 74 are here today could have imagined that they were sitting where you were at the same time and during Vietnam. The upshot of all this across vastly different regions and very different challenges. Our women and men in uniform are hard at work, strengthening our alliances, because no country has allies like ours, investing in deterrence so anyone who thinks they can threaten us thinks again, defending our values by standing up to tyrants and safeguarding the peace by protecting freedom and openness. Thanks to the U.S. Armed Forces, we're doing what only America can do as the indispensable nation the world's only superpower and the leading democracy in the world. Never forget, America is the strongest when we lead not only by our example of our power, but by the power of our example. You can clap for that. I want to mention one additional way we made progress. Every member of our armed forces must always be safe and respected in the ranks. For the first time in nearly a decade, rates of sexual assault and sexual harassment have gone down across the active duty forces. It's long past time to end the scourge of sexual violence in the military, once and for all. And we can do this. <laughs> Cadets, make no mistake, there remains 
a hard power world. You can't draw any other conclusion when powerful nations try to coerce their neighbors or terrorists attempt evil plots. That's why I'm making historic investments in our military, overhauling our defense industrial base. For decades, America has had the most powerful military in the world. And that happens because we choose to make it happen. I have always been willing to use force when required to protect our nation, our allies, our core interests. And when anyone targets American troops, we will deliver justice to them. That happened earlier this year when three heroic members of the U.S. Army Reserve were killed in an unmanned drone attack near, in Northeast Jordan. In response, we launched dozens of successful airstrikes against Iran-backed militants. I will never forget to honor the memory of those warriors who gave their lives in the fight against terrorism. Cadets, West Point had made you, has made you leaders of character. In minutes, you'll be United States Army officers. In time, some of you will serve in powerful roles at headquarters, the Pentagon, even in the White House, to confront challenges a previous generation of soldiers couldn't imagine. When that happens, hold fast to your values. You learned here at West Point, duty, honor, country. Hold fast to your honor code, which says, quote, we will not lie, steal or cheat, nor tolerate those who do end of quote. And above all, hold fast to your oath. On your very first day at West Point, you raised your right hands and took an oath, not to a political party, not to a president, but to the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Members of the long gray line have given their lives for that Constitution. They have fought to defend the freedoms that it protects, the right to vote, the right to worship, the right to raise your voice in protest. They have saved and sacrificed to ensure, as President Lincoln said, <coughs> a government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. West Pointers know better than anyone Freedom is not free. It requires constant vigilance. And for, from the very beginning, nothing is guaranteed about our democracy in America. Every generation has an obligation to defend it, to protect it, to preserve it, to choose it. Now is your turn. Remember what over a 1,000 graduates of West Point wrote to the class of 2020, four years ago. The oath you've taken here, quote, has no expiration date, they said. Not for you, not for your country. It's important to your nation now as it ever been. Keep it, honor it, and live it. Cadets, let me close with this. In the early days of our nation, as General Washington said, West Point was the key of America. Today, you're still the key because of your commitment to protect what makes America, America. We're unique in the world. We're the only country in the world founded on an idea. Other countries are founded based on geography, ethnicity, religion, or other attributes. But we're the only one founded on an idea, not figuratively, literally. And the ideas were all created equal deserve to be treated equally throughout our lives. But ideas need defenders to make them real. That's what you, the class of 2024, are all about. Defenders of freedom, free freedom, champions of liberty, guardians, and I mean this, guardians of American democracy. And just as this historic institution helped make America free over two centuries ago, and just as generations of West Point graduates have kept us free through every challenge and danger, you must keep us free at this time, like none before. I know you can. I know you will. For we are the United States of America, and there is nothing, nothing beyond our capacity when we do it together.
May God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Congratulations, class of 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please remain standing for the presentation of the class gift. The class president, Cadet Gary Thomas Ward III from Jasper, Alabama, will present a panoramic photo of the class of 2024 to the president. President Biden, on behalf of the class of 2024, please accept this class picture as a token of our appreciation for your commencement address today. Thank you, Mr. President. I will hang it proudly in the White House. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please remain standing for the singing of the core. A cherished West Point song, it is second in importance only to the alma mater. The Corps was first sung at the graduation ceremony in 1911. Class, attention. Dais, attention. The Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dean of the Academic Board, Brigadier General Shane R. Reeves. Class of 2024, your education has prepared you to be a leader of character sworn to uphold the values embodied in our Constitution. So, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present these graduates 
and recommend each as worthy of the Bachelor of Science degree. The President of the United States will present diplomas to those cadets awarded summa cum laude designation, class valid Victorian, cadet first captain, class president, and the Army Athletic Association trophy winners. Will the members of the class of 2024 now come forward to receive their diplomas? Congratulations. Skyler A. Choff, valedictorian and top cadet. <laughs> Martine J. Vandewal, first captain and brigade commander. Gary Thomas Ward III, class president. Aureli C. Mago, Army Athletic Trophy winner. Benjamin K. Pazook, Army Athletic Trophy winner. Daniel J. Vrablick. Alec R. Wells. Madeline G. Lenkart. Aiden O. Hopping. Calvin Liu. Benjamin D. Timien. Alexis H. Bradstreet. Andrew D. Madrano. Elizabeth D. Ake. Anusha S. Packham. Gunnar L. Daniels. Tobias S. Hild. Jeremiah D. Phillips. Owen X. Coster. Catherine E. Abair, Anna Hong, J. 
Jacob H. Felker. Rachel L. Redvensky. Haley R. Pott. Gavin J. Linus. Trenton R. Douthwaite. Eric J. Liu. Christopher J. White. Carly A. Wolfell. John E. Byers. Levi H. Bell. Uta A. Givens. Jackson T. Wozniak. Charles V. Wheaton. Andrew Jong. Brian C. Lunn. Madison E. Cusano. Cooper E. Klein. Michael P. Rooney, Jr. Penny Zhang. Alexander R. Roos. Creighton T. Morgenfeld. Phoebe S. Zhu. Nathan A. Lucas. Jacques L. Schold. Jasmine S. Talley. Daniel R. Woolsey. Ethan A. Fleggy. Isabella G. Sullivan. Carter J. Sample. Jacob R. Kwanbeck. Fahad B. Abdul Razak. Caroline T. Althouse. Hollis J. Fitzgerald. Robert J. Murphy, Jr.
Jacob V. Woodruff. Dylan K. Van Note. Samantha M. Shepard Moore. Michael J. O'Connor. Cameron J. Hicks. Maximilian Renfro. Aiden B. Griggs. Mr. President, sir. The 1st Regiment, Joshua D. Osborne. The 3rd Regiment, Jair A. Alford. Mava E. Badio. Salim A. Ali. Bruce W. Bannister, Jr. Charles J. Batkin. Logan D. Brown. Cameron, Cameron A. Beckford. Seth H. Brown. Pekka Bakaya. Isabel C. Crandall. Porter J. Buxton. David A. Escada. David P. Cadigan. Brandon C. Gibson. Hollister C. Chapman. Luke P. Luskin. Berkeley K. Cohen. Brennan J. McAllister. Colin T. Doherty. Jackson P. McDermott. Gabrielle R. Fisher. Matthew C. Mullering, Jr. Brady P. Foise. Maximilian J. Nalapa. Julia R. Goryak. Maxwell C. Onaga. Abraham H. Johnson. Lucas W. H. Patterson. Ethan H. Linovich. Rosaline A. Petrella. Rachel E. McLeary. Matthew W. Pittman. John F. Morocco. Natani P. Randall. Walter T. Pack, Jr. Jake T. Riva. Jackson A. Powell. Isaiah C. Rodriguez. Johan Pretorius. Dawson D. Steck. Joshua C. Rui. Tanner M. Thornton. Aaron R. Sachs. Curtis Y. Sy. Sydney E. Shimak. Kyle R. Wallace. Jack C. Simpson. Eric T. Zhu. Cameron A. Smith. Minso Yang. Evan H. Symes. Andrew F. Adenowin. Boaz F. Turner. Samaj T. Antley. Thomas T. Vo. James R. Baker. Matthew D. Williams. James E. Bellato. Joseph C. Barnes. Robert C. Barry. Daniel J. Beck. Dayton M. Ball. Annika M. Benson. Drew J. Clement. 
Ethan W. Bremner. Jordan D. Corpuz. Holden C. Burns. Matthew K. DeFratis. Madison J. Cooper. Ashton T. Gaines. Dylan J. Dennis. Ezra A. Garris. Jasper T. Doyle III. Ann C. Hayes. Ian W. Enzer. Jungmin Wong. Erica S. Esterly. Vesa Ibrahim. Andrew A. Fergus. Cody J. Lamanak. Jackson R. Filipowicz. Morgan J. Mavoides. Mackenzie L. Ireland. Jody M. McKendry. Kaylee G. Laporte. Mackenzie N. Muse. Brandon A. Liu. Evan J. Olveholzer. Alexander M. Meredith. Nicholas M. Puig. Alexander S. Meredith. Lily J. Schur. Ryan S. Mitchell. Shane M. Sunday. Amon J. Mott. Daniel M. Tabaz. Jalen E. Rainey. Alexander N. Tucker. Douglas A. Reynolds. Christopher J. Anderson. Leger S. Rogier. Joshua L. Blackman. Elijah I. Ruiz. Brandon A. Buckle. Anthony S. Seymour. William D.C. Butt the Tenth. Zachary C. Shaver. Christopher W. Chen. Brooke, Brooke R. Stratman. Catherine M. Cornett. Nicholas P. Vargas. Adam A. Elamati. Zach A. Vernier. Kenneth R. Gentry. Ro Robert C. Allen. Melanie L. George. Muhammad Shami bin Haji Kumaladin. Luke R. Jalati. Olivia A. Brown. Hayward G. Hudson IV. Keaton C. Detweiler. Jason D. Ingersoll. Christina H. Ellis. Benjamin L. Jackson. Talon D. Estes. Mackenzie M. Carnig. Joshua P. Gilliard. Reevely G. Kazee. Eric C. Haluska. Taylor N. Cracker. Graham S. Hendrickson. Jack G. May III. Cameron D. Harold. Brock T. McDade. Austin W. Hill. Logan A. Melendez. Judah D. Johnson. Pierce E. Mao. Eugene Lee. Patrick Oglesby. Alexander D. Liebelt. Maya Z. Payton. Tristan L. McKenzie. Asia M. Salas. Martin Ocampo. Nana O. Sawpong. Victor I. Olawale Aponpa. Dylan P. Sheehy. Jordan T. Reif. Dylan R. Sheriff. Natalie A. Russo. Ian C. Spencer. Samuel J. Ruda, Jr. 
Audrey N. Spiker. Atif Sakazwe. Christopher R. Turco. Nathaniel P. Smith. Brendan M. Wright. Michael C. Tangrady. Janice N. Zapata. Dominic A. Tianga. Benjamin E. Baumgartner. Mario H. Trevino. Avery I. Bell. Savannah C. Weston. Cole P. Biggins. Sebastian B. Wilkinson. Jared S. Cross. Michael C. Kanistra. Alana M. Cutler. Katarina Kluke. Devin M. Dorino. Jasmine F. Coe. Abigail M. Gash. Adam M. Eckstein. Adrian V. Inescu. Samuel H. Greenberg. Rob Robert H. Espy III. Jawong Jong. Jackson S. Everett. Skyler M. Johnston. Nicholas M. Frazier. Joshua Coe. Jessica S. Harvey. Kale J. Lehman. Montrell E. Jackson. Nathaniel C. Lumpkin. Rich R. Juin. Devario J. Marzetti. Minsock J. Lee. Jonathan M. McGuire. Connor R. Leggett. Enrique D. Mendoza. Cole E. McKenzie. Isabella E. Paulcheck. Elizabeth Megan N. Kamwa. River G. Park. Riley G. Parchment. Garrett D. Pavalco. Augustine J. Premkamore. Nicholas J. Pearson. Zonzel J. Prudhomme. Patrick A. Perosi. Melissa C. Rankle. David W. Reagan IV. Dylan M. Robinson. Preston T. Randolph. Justin A. Rodarte. Alexandra I. Rosewitz. Michael H. Sullivan. Douglas C. Smith II. Sophie G. Talkington. Justin J. T. Porton. Arden Uchok. Naftali M. Tehran. Liam P. Waldron. Daniel H. Zhao. Mary M. Warder. William T. Belke. Brady W. Weathers. Tatiana C. Brown. Stephen A. Williams. Henry Chin. Dylan P. Amons. Ryan R. Crystal. John A. Beatty. Jacques W. Combs. Abraham W. Budge. Jackson T. Dunn. Nikai G. Butler. Amy L. Ellegram. Robert J. Collier. Walter F. Harris III. Chloe M. Dubrava. Arkill D. Hill. Adam B. Ungard. Joseph C. Jafari. Layton M. Hall Croft. Noah P. Jager. Daphne M. Karaholius. 
Thomas J. Kochiever. Benjamin Y. Lee. Owen V. Manley. Ian L. Leak. Marissa A. Massey. Aaron X. Lee. Michael R. McFarland. Parker R. Lantero. Brody J. Medeiros. Richard J. Lyle, Jr. <laughs> Dathan G. Mickham. Jacob K. McDonald. Niall S. Murphy. Cody T. Morris. Kai B. Nickerson. Sean T. Murphy. Solomon M. Scanlon. Serena R. Narwhal. John W. Selenkowitz, Jr. Lucas K. Periscondo. Ting Tang. Daniel R. Penny. Gwendolyn A. Vestal. Michael A. Ruggieri. Samuel J. Wesley. Joseph M. Serrano. Davis S. Wofford. Mark D. Shatton. Kevin C. Yusatepi. Thomas H. Tan. Artem N. Jalabin. Trayton A. Thomas. Jason Abbott. Benjamin A. Turner. Wesley T. Anderson. Hosanna E. Tyron. William M. Bolt. Andrin Vucci. Dominic A. Caroon. Carter L. Acock. Azavasha T. Danian. Samuel G. Baldwin. Jack T. Dellinger. Shayla M. Beausoleil. Kyle A. Elbert. Colton J. Craig. George A. Geekus. Tanner P. Craig. Jacob J. Goldberg. Jason E. Darnell. Shane R. Hayner. Sean K. Donnelly. Joseph T. Hickson. Zachary A. Elliott. Ethan A. Jennings. John S. Fargo II. Alexander Jolia. Sarah L. Fazilari. Evan R. Lee. Kevin P. Grapsky. John B. Liptak II. Samuel Heichel. Lauren M. Little. Caitlin M. Holmberg. Dominic O. Mel. Trevor M. Kelly. Abigail A. Milanessa. Isaiah Loriando. Mark L. Miller II. Alyssa K. Lee. Lance J. Paglinawan. Michael E. Lenhart. Paul T. Roberts II. David J. Lipscomb. Samuel T. Rothstein. Justin I. Marr. David A. Sharp. Evan M. McGee. John Shagumbi. Christian S. Moscone. Trinity C. Stinger. Raphael W. Nachman. Emmanuel J. Rico Garcia. Rihanna L. Peoples. Melinda Y. Zhang. Tyson D. Riley. 
Andrew P. Barlow. Spencer J. Roy. Ryan A. Rockington. Ryan J. Schneider. Torin R. Christensen. Cla Claudia J. Siegel. Carson S. Cox. Lindsey R. Smith. Margaret A. Curran. Browning L. Benyon. William A. Drake. Samuel A. Bismeyer. Charles J. Erlinson. Lindsey C. Bordas. Anastasia A. Fieldings. Tyler J. Bracci. Brandon M. Jones. Casey L. Coletto. Yang Won Kim. Ludwig A. Emmerich. Christopher T. Conan. Robert D. Feliz. Kyle J. Coots. Christian D. Fry. Caleb J. Lagasty. Cameron V. Garrison. Augustine J. Lopez. John P. Gummo. Alec S. Malikatin. Tyler M. Harris. Tyler J. Morris. Daniel D. Hoffman. Gabriel X. Neal. Kai M. Holm. Samuel E. Ryan. Zoe E. Ip. Michael J. Saju. Caleb I. Irwin. Caleb T. Self. Joseph L. Kelly. Nicole W. Wanga. Eric M. Kim. Sydney N. Watson. Dylan P. Lundberg. Micah D. Wees. William G. Martin. Mackenzie E. West. Benjamin M. Milliken. Edward J. Wolf. Sade L. Moore. Melody N. Yell. James C. Morton IV. James R. Young. Francis C. Perrin III. Jacqueline A. Bishop. Brandon L. Rohde. Noah B. Bright. Gabrielle T. Rueda. Colin M. Chapman. Patrick J. Ruther. Mackenzie A. Courtright. Lizette M. Vanderwalt. Joshua M. Sway. Lydia R. Veen. Declan M. Dennis. Rhiannon M. Walton. Israel K. Dixon. Caroline H. Ahn. Cameron J. Dyke. Sincere A. Bihagigat. Andrew J. Ellison. Jacob A. Bransma. Braden J. Galinsky. Caleb J. Bittner. Sean K. Hugh. Mitchell A. Burr. Dante P. Kelly. Aiden B. Carr. Roberto E. Lopez. Matthew T. Chess. Jabari T. Moore. Carrie P. Colford. Troy M. Nottigal. Donald R. Cravens III. 
Madeline C. Norris. Outstanding. Well done. Jackson A. Cyrillic. Jarek J. Ochoa. Sean M. Dennehy. Reagan L. Overton. Isaac M. Escapa. John A. Perry. Stevie K. Gary. Thomas E. Healy. Ryan J. Rast. Charles R. Hill. Jonathan S. Ross. Aaron D. Hoff. Harmon R. Wamsley. Patrick V. Junker. Tristan G. Weaver. Alexander G. McFarlane. William R. Baker. Joaquin J. Madrigal. Benjamin T. Barry. Stephen J. Manalakis. Josue S. Blanco. Connor J. McElroy. Kyle J. Bryce. Takong M. U. Ryan F. Bryce. Benjamin G. Focus. Enoch N. Crow. Crystal M. Pichardo. Amanda L. Dunleavy. Olivia R. Pop. Caden M. Ekman. Samuel R. Proctor. Isaiah C. Felici. Daniel Y. Song. James B. Flink. Jesus Taronis III. Jared A. Goss. Barbara Ann N. Antwi. Jonathan P. Guthrie. Hannah L. Ball. Ashley L. Hamilton. Trayton D. Bartlett. Joshua R. Haskins. Reese D. Burek. Kyle J. Lawrence. Jacob B. Carswell. Maximus A. Markey. Monty A. Collins. John R. McKinney, Jr. Dominic J. Denoto. Travis D. Norton. Taylor A. Driver. Francis A. Okonski. Cassinia L. Farrell. Simeon O. Alawale Apampa. <laughs> Liam T. Fleming. Drake K. Ott. Robert R. Healy. Caitlin G. Palian. <laughs> William R. Kaiser. Jackson G. Pofall. Avery J. Kimbrough. Sarah R. Scott. Timmy E. Kiffmiller. Tanner J. Trowget. Elena R. Kispaugh. Joshua D. Van Wert. Audrey R. Landers. Amaya A. White. Ryan D. Lee. Sayana K. Lopes. The 2nd Regiment, 
Sean S. Altenberg. John Quinn B. McIntyre. Nicholas E. Atkinson. James A. Miller. Luciano D. Borjas. Camden E. O'Gara. Connor S. Chapman. Colton D. Snodgrass. Simon D. Dellinger. Ian J. Tansil. Jacob R. Faber. Spencer T. White. Nathaniel D. Geiger. Joshua A. Wong. Jonathan T. Gulak. The 4th Regiment, Diego A. Andrade. Charney L. Harmon. Sidney I. Bender. Ethan D. Hessen. Caden M. Blust. Janawu D. Jean-Baptiste. Abigail C. Buzak. Timothy G. Carbler. Nicholas J. Catanio. Simon Kim. Connor M. Cavanaugh. Ian C. Mickle. Timothy F. Clemens. Eamon M. Murphy. Arian S. Gotham. Molly A. Murtaugh. Jonathan P. Haley. Hunter L. Pruitt. Darby L. Horn. Jaden D. Rabatin. Congratulations. Samuel S. Hosbach. Lionel Y. Robert. Alexander C. Imig. Gideon S. Rothschild. Olivia F. Johnson. Riley D. Strand. Eric B. King II. David K. Sweeten. Ryan J. Logan. Emma C. Taylor. Quinn T. Moretsky. Rahil T. Thanawala. Craig A. Massey. Peter J. Toth. Emily R. Mossman. Jerry D. Vesey III. Kyle L. Sarazola. Ryan Y. Yi. Mackenzie M. Shirtle. Spencer T. Barlow. Luke N. Siegel. Lacey H. Bartholome. John M. Starkey. Bryce E. Bauer. Gage W. Taveras. Andrew J. Brewster Young. Tyler P. Wilson. Jared T. Cordova. Raycon J. XJ. Richard B. Jaramillo. Jack C. Abshire. Holly F. Jones. Samuel T. Andrews. Spencer C. Jones. Adam W. Bailing. Daniel W. Lawrence. Aria C. Bradley. Andre M. Lopez. Morgan M. Brown. Ivy J. Mock. Christopher M. Doyle. Samantha L. McNaughton. Graham N. Gist. Jacob D. Morin. Jordan S. Hackley. Taylor C. O'Brien. Qu Quindrellin Q. Hammonds. Richard A. Otley. Nicholas G. Hughes. 
Harley S. Patel. Haley E. King. Garrett D. Phillips. Zachary N. Kirk. Eric T. Reinhardt. Alexander K. Klepper. Joshua D. Santina. <laughs> Sophia R. Miklovic. Nathan L. Segovia. Thank you. George L. Nall. Raymond A. Shattuck. Avery J. Patel. David S. Shillow. Jaya L. Penn. Nicholas K. Stokel. Edmundo J. Porush Jr. James R. Wisenhunt. Chloe M. Price. Daniel Y. Yi. Alexander S. Redman. Charlie E. Bennett. Cyril L. Sana II. Jacoby G. Buchanan. Jeffrey H. Smith. Lee C. Cooper. Cole D. Talley. Kevin J. Fernandez. Elijah P. Tucker. Kara J. Flanagan. Laura, Laura K. Westwood Marsh. Elijah S. Franz. Michael R. Willicky. Riley C. Furlong. Jasmine W. Shin. John C. Hammerdick. Charles N. Barzik. Jake T. Hewitt. Shai E. Bennett. Alec J. Jacoby. Luke G. Brown. Cameron R. Jones. Rebecca E. Cook. Samuel I. Jung. Dominico F. Curti. Bridget A. Canapa. Thomas T. Deck. Nathan Lampshire. Avery Bree Erskine. Mark J. Lehman. Akaria M. Falvey. Parker C. Lord. Connor T. Funk. Donald H. Mazur. John G. Gilder. John C. McDaniel. Alexandria M. Goss. James W. Pinter. <laughs> Carlos A. Gutierrez. Jack L. Raditz. Ellis C. Hatfield. Cameron D. Riddle. Emma L. Haynes. Joel A. Rubin. Stephen M. Keyes. Jeannie A. Skidmore. Samuel C. Kim. John B. Thomas. Connor L. Lane. Peter J. Wang. Clifford P. McKinney IV. Tyson A. Welch. Peyton S. Mercer. Wiling Zhang. Jacob L. Moon. Colton A. Berkowitz. Samuel R. Myers. Olivia C. Brennan. Boris Nicholas Paul. 
Isabella D. Sharico. Luke C. Peterson. Trevor J. Croft. Kaylee J. Ragazzini. Samantha A. Dainty. Juan L. Rodriguez. Andy I. Disneys. <laughs> Gavin L. Scamp Gross. Kayla J. Edwards. Tijin I. Spohr. Tyler W. Einoff. Selvin M. Williams. Benedict E. Fazer. Nicholas C. Adams. Timothy J. Fowler. Zachary T. Bone. Grant J. Johnson. Savannah D. Bray. Andrew M. Kim. Edward Key. F. Buck III. Gregory C. Keys, Jr. Jacob F. Bukowski. Eric Lara. Tristan A. Busamus. Angus C. McLaughlin. Chase A. Campbell. Ijon C. Marshall. Connor M. Trapeski. John E. Mays II. James A. Charlo. Patrick J. Mullen. Michael J. Clementson. David M. Nakasoni. Brennan L. Colvin. Gabriel S. Nelson. Thomas F. DiMarisco. Trenton A. Tom. Bryce C. DiGiacinto. Candon J. Wilkinson. Jacob C. Dursky. Thomas H. Woodbury. Stephen E. Graver. Gavin E. Abrick. Alyssa M. Hershey. Jasmine J. Alderman. Henry J. Hoberling. Aiden J. Baum. Sylvie J. Imrem. Jalen D. Caldwell. Zachary R. Lazanic. Garrett T. Chrisman. Joshua A. Ligenfelter. Christian A. Dionisio. Andrew Y. Liu. Matthew A. Dove. Terion Lowry. Benjamin J. Dubetsky. Joseph R. Mallon. Trevor N. Finan. Bo G. Parker II. Maximilian T. Hodgson. Isabel M. Petrin. Joseph A. Holland. Christian J. Sarlito. Riley C. Hoyes. Hamza A. Shihata. Paul W. Johnson. Jennifer A. Taylor. Milton L. Jones. Emily G. Vanderplug. Hudson T. Maisie. Samuel F. Acock. Nolan P. Murphy. Austin J. Burns. John R. Nicholson III. Zoe C. Canifax. Taylor A. Puglisi. Ryan T. Connors. Vincent J. Redfern. Grayson W. Davis. Luke F. Revenue. Jackson R. Dean. Grace L. Rees. 
Zakia L. Gladney. Charles G. Reinhardt. Luke H. Greiner. Oh Wishamar E. Sanatus. Samuel B. Hine. Ruffin R. Shaw. John P. Hollingsworth. Magnus F. Sheridan. Nail Junazovic. Dalen M. Smith. <laughs> Ralph J. Koslerich. Wild D. Wild W. Wilkerson. John.